jetzt machen wir mal die Haupt Hauptquest-Story. The Hard Way. Quida must be equipped with, with cannon at Martha's Windway. Officers must go hired to command the new guns. Do you want to start this naval mission? Ja, das wollen wir. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. Ich würde überhaupt nicht sagen, ich aber Deutsch. Solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch 12 knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be. East Coast. Ja, hier ist einiges los. Listen Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Full sail! Unfurl everything! Full, full sail! sail. Wenn ich jetzt was da vorne sehen würde, aber. Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. Jetzt werde ich nicht nur Assassine, ich werde sogar Seepiratassine. Ach, das sind die Winde, äh, die da kommen. Alles klar. Ich glaube, den sollten wir nicht so einfach kreuzen. Äh, jetzt dreht er auch noch bei. Interessant, dass die Wettereffekte keinen Effekt auf seine Segel haben. Now, take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. Bring her to half sail, man. Half sail. Das Problem ist, der da vorne ist langsam. Ja, die weichen wahrscheinlich nicht aus. Wie lernt man einen Captain am besten ein? Man lässt ihn einfach quer durch irgendwelche unseichten Gewässer fahren, die voll andere Boote sind. Super geile Idee. Ja, 
erinnert mich ein bisschen was in Kingdom Hearts 3, die... die Seeschlachten. Die Mannschaft muss sich auch super äh, gut vorkommen. Ja, was macht ihr da? Äh, wir, haben, äh, wir haben das Ruder einer Landrat überlassen. Doch ganz hier. Äh, jawohl. Cartridges. We're close. Ich hätte gerne auch sowas wie ein Viertelsee. Äh. Das wird wahrscheinlich eine wiederholende Animation sein, dieses Plutsch. Oh, hallo, Mandy. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. Hm. Nice to see you too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out. Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. Ja, die Frau hat zumindest ihre Taverne gut im Blick. Bitte, was? Wie viele Kanonen haben wir auf dem Schiff? Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Mehr Kanonen? What the heck? Pull in the half sail! Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spot of target practice. Bring her on broadside, in. and when all guns are on target, call fire. Uh -huh. shot for a start. Wait for it. Let well done, boy. Ready now. to fire. Aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. 
Dann sehe ich, dass die gecharged sind. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Äh, alles klar. You are a fast learner, provided something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Wofür habe ich eigentlich einen Captain, wenn der... wenn ich das Ding steuern soll? So komplett und so. Why is he shooting at us? Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace, take your pick. What do we do? Not else but to fight back. Sink the bastard. Use the swivel Da Das gab ein Fettel. Alles klar. Die sind früher loslassen, dann geht das besser. Geht doch. Das hat uns getroffen. Komm, 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 komm. Jetzt machen wir mal eine ganz enge Wende. Ja, dann lad halt zu Ende. Vielleicht sollten wir mehr Kanonen sammeln. Auch wenn, wenn ich nicht weiß, wo man an dem Schiff noch Kanonen ranstecken sollte. Gut, die Zusatzziele haben wir vielleicht nicht so bekommen, aber wir haben zumindest äh, ja, 
Ich habe es geschafft beim ersten Run. I got them, all of them. You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. You weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Interessant. Wir tragen also die Oberbekleidung, aber noch die indianischen Schuhe. Ich glaube, wir haben keine Aufgaben. No. Sequence complete. It's schön. Der Tag an dem Templer rein. Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's got to be looking for us. Obviously, it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Wir verkleiden uns als Assassine. Äh, wait. Local Utility Companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Jetpack. Really? Testing. One, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures. Running diagnostics. Perfect. I've got a nice strong signal. Just a heads up. There's no elevator access from here on out. You'll have to get up there the old-fashioned way. Zum Glück haben wir ein wenig was im Animus gelernt. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. 
This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him, to Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be, when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end.